We went on a road trip. We went for a trek in Thurahalli forest. After which we also had breakfast. Oh, and that? That is Rahul Murthy, a friend, an old senior of mine from office, who is also a half CA. Throughout the day, I thought it would be a good idea to ask him questions based on his learnings and experiences, which might be really helpful for us. But unlike Rahul, I am a CA final student who still needs coaching. If you are a CA foundation student and you need coaching, the sponsor of today's video can help you out with that. An Academy. An Academy is India's largest learning platform, which will help you clear the exam that you are preparing for. If you are a CA foundation student or even a commerce student who is considering to do CA, you can enroll yourself for a batch which will help you prepare for the CA foundation exam which is going to be conducted in December. It's a three month course which will include the coverage of the entire syllabus in these three months. They offer live classes where you can constantly interact with the faculty and also provide pre-recorded classes which you can attend based on your convenience. The material is prepared by the top educators of the country and comes along with colourful notes and charts where all the important points are already highlighted which will help you clear the CA foundation exam. If you are a CA foundation student and that appeals to you, you can click the link in the description and on your checkout if you use the code VIVEK45, you will get a 10% discount on your purchase. Early that morning, we made our way to the forest. As we kept getting closer and closer to the forest, the roads kept getting worse. And before we got to the forest, we stopped in the middle of the road to ask him the first question. Okay, time for question number one. So the first question is why did you choose to do CA okay. and why did you choose to stay in Bangalore while doing CA? Okay, that's actually a pretty easy question uh, because all my seniors were taking up CA, whoever was in commerce and uh, that was one reason. I had that curiosity as to what is the CA, why are, the, why are people saying that it's so hard and all of that. Right. I always like challenges, so I'm like fine, let me also do it, let me uh, take it up. So that was uh, my reason of taking up CA. But did you have the urge to like go outside because like for me, huh. like, I just wanted to like live on my own and have that experience as well. So I, I love my home. Uh, so. I'm a person that even if uh, we go to a relative's house, I'm going to ask uh, what's the time, when are we leaving? Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You get everything over here. Right. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, going out, staying alone. And you don't have to worry about how the classes will be because you know all your seniors have done it here and uh, it's pretty much peaceful. After a quick stop, we were on our way to the forest. <laughs> So we almost reached the forest as you can see and I have the second question for you okay, what which is, is what are your experiences and learnings from CA and failing in CA? The very first failure which I faced was in CA itself. Mm. Uh, I had never failed before. I was the top. I was the topper of the college as well okay. and suddenly you see F on your marks card and it's like what the <laughs> hell is happening? <laughs> I got 93% here and then suddenly you're getting right, right. a failure mark. Mm. So that makes you stronger and it, I became even more determined to uh, right. study harder mm. and I want to ace this mm -hmm. i want to ace this and uh, i want to show people that no i'm not a failure i i am what i am i am right. a topper so it just happened to be that uh, when i failed cpt in my first attempt second attempt itself i got a distinction mm. and do you think it makes you tougher as a person definitely does it definitely does because uh, you're you're facing so much of criticism it makes you to come back stronger right. come back at them mm -hmm. and then say that no i'm yeah. not a fluke yeah, yeah. we are right, something right. and uh, that's the best thing we then got into the turahalli forest which is located 20 kilometers away from Bangalore city. 
I'm in the middle of the jungle. I don't know how long I'll last and if you'll ever see this. But if you do, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a part of the community. Okay, fine. Not exactly the jungle, but hit that subscribe button either ways. And now since we were in the forest, time for the next questions. So as you can see, we made it to the forest, which also brings me to the next question that okay. I have to ask you. Okay. Which is what was your expectations before joining Article Ship? and how did it actually turn out to be in reality uh, to think of it uh, the first thing which strikes my mind is uh, outstation audits hmm. so before joining article ship i thought okay fine i'm going to travel around eat various food right, various right. cuisines boss around mm -hmm. probably walk in formals like a boss right. and then say hey, do this do, yeah, yeah. do this and, and you get that, that ego boost ego after inter right yeah. yeah so it's like after uh, ipcc we are like okay man we are the boss we mm. have done we have done it all it's mm. just uh, final exams right. and uh, we are articles yeah. <laughs> so only only after you go you'll know that you are only articles oh, yeah we are the lowest yeah. in the hierarchy huh. yeah, but i feel like it also helps us to keep our feet on the ground yeah. and like keep our ego in check ego right ego in check and reality check everything hmm. is true, all true. On, yeah. on the ground itself yeah. true true yeah. yeah that was one uh, reality check i right. mean uh, first thing is i didn't get to do outstation audits hmm. you were lucky yeah, yeah. to <laughs> which, get is, which you can check out over there <laughs> yeah. so yeah. outstation audits you were very lucky hmm. to get that and uh, In my case, all of my audits were uh, near my house itself. Okay. In a way, it is it was good because hmm. uh, second and third year I had to study. We roamed around and explored the forest for a while. And everything here is just so calm and quiet. And the weather is also perfect. Like I have to wear like a hoodie and all that. <laughs> oh, dude. Huh? Uh, so the <laughs> the next question huh? is like, what is your best memory of article ship? Best memory of article ship. Yeah. Okay, this has to be the first year of article ship, mm. and uh, see, first thing is you learn a lot from the nerdy perspective. You don't know anything, mm. and you learn a lot. And uh, in my case, the best part is I handle the clients alone, right. most of the clients. So that's where you actually had to interact with the client, and then uh, you they literally, the yeah. you know, like the. top heads the directors hmm. of the company so all of them are calling you up and saying sir what happened right, to this right, sir right. yeah yeah so that <laughs> when the like filing season comes everybody starts calling you sir sir, <laughs> sir. so and yeah when you talk about filing season that's where we had the most fun hmm. we had to stay up late in the evening and then we order snacks yeah. we used to eat a lot hmm. loud music and have fun <laughs> chit chat right. then pull someone's leg pull even manager's yeah. leg so yeah. that's the best thing right, about right. and it builds the sense of community or builds this friendship yeah, which is like we, we had like next level uh, unity in our team right. there will be some differences mm -hmm. but then um, right yeah it was uh, It's uh, like because you went through the struggle you came out stronger through yeah. the other side <laughs> <laughs> yeah we then decided to sit down for a while which meant it was time for the next question okay so the next question that i had for you okay. is that how does life look like after article ship because as of right now it's in a very in between stage where there are some people from your batch who have already become a ca yeah. some people in the middle and some people like unfortunately couldn't clear yeah. even one group yeah so i'm the guy who's in between over here so in my case uh, i cleared it in november 2020 mm -hmm. and uh, it's almost uh, i mean it, it's uh, september now mm -hmm. 2021 right so these 9 months i've been enjoying my life uh, my article ship got over in february right. i skipped an attempt it was my personal decision mm -hmm. i mean right. i don't recommend anyone to do it mm -hmm. but if you want to uh, if you if your gas is out right, right. and uh, you want to take a break probably you can do that mm -hmm. so you just wanted to like pace yourself because it's been such a long journey to come to this point yeah i mean it's uh, it's been 5 years approximately i mean not completely 5 years but yeah so that you 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 are still in that you you were going like a fast train right. and then you obviously need a, a engine oil replacement right right like so because like that. did you feel like a sense of burnout yeah i did i did i felt that and then uh, nothing went in my head <laughs> so you try studying nothing goes in so you get to that point where you know that okay you need a break right right you need a break and then that's when i took my break mm -hmm. some people got married yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some people uh, started vlogging yeah yeah huh. yeah and some people are still with the books mm -hmm. so yeah. and some people started working as well right, right. so they yeah. joined back uh, mm -hmm. the firm right. and then mm -hmm. i mean it's all up to you you can yeah. do whatever you want it, 
just go with the flow. We then went all the way to the top where I also met a few doggos. Hi doggo. Guys, we made it to the top. Rahul, how do you feel? No, I, I actually never call you Rahul, I always call you Murthy. <laughs> okay, wait, next question for you. Huh? So like if you could go back in time and change anything, would you change anything or like do you have any regrets is what I'm trying to ask. I don't have any regrets as such. Uh, first thing is I like to enjoy the process. So I enjoyed my process, my journey throughout the CA career and I mean I still have a bit left. Right. Uh, the thing is uh, there are two kinds of people. Hmm. Uh, one who go all out just study, study, study then even during article ship they work. They are just so dedicated. Hmm. But I am the second type where uh, I like to have fun. fun. So I danced uh, during right. my article chair. Mm-hmm. We went out, outings, mm-hmm. and we had lots of fun. We used to go out during lunch, right. explore eat trees nearby, uh-huh. have fun. Sometimes used to scoot early right, right. a lot. So mm-hmm. I love the process. Mm-hmm. I mean, we enjoyed it a lot. So I mean, I, in my case, I don't regret anything. After exiting the forest, we then made our way back to the city. are doing his thing and I'm just excited to eat. <laughs> Rahul is also a Kannada food vlogger. So we went to the restaurant to review the food. And if you understand Kannada, you can check the link in the description where I link his channel. The next question I have for you is like, apart from being a CA student and studying, okay. what other things are you passionate about? Okay, the first thing which comes to my mind is since childhood I've been playing football. Hmm. So football is my number one hobby. Okay. Uh, apart from that, obviously I like to dance as well. So I dance a bit. I manage to dance. Mm-hmm. Uh, finally, what we are here for oh, is yeah. uh, food vlogging. Right. So actually, he actually runs a food blog or a vlog. So we are actually here for a vlog and I'm making a video for his channel as well, which you can check out in the link in the bio. We then got back to his house where I asked him the last question. So the last question that I have for you okay. is that if you were to give one piece of advice for anybody who is pursuing CA, what okay. would it be? One piece of advice? I actually have a lot, quite a few, but then now um, uh, I'll keep it as top three advices. Okay. Uh, first thing is, don't take failure to your heart. So that's one thing. And uh, second thing is, don't let ego cloud your decisions. Mm-hmm. And third thing is, Surround yourself with positive people and just in case you are hitting your rock bottom and you feel like there is no way to go, mm-hmm. just know that if you are at your rock bottom, the only way is up. Right. So you are going to go high. So it's it's always like the stock market graphs. Mm-hmm. So you are going to see ups and downs and ups and downs. So you know that when it is down, that's when you have to purchase a stock or something like that. So that's when you know that you are going to go up. Right. So that's, that's when you have to invest more into yourself and uh, pick yourself up so that you skyrocket and uh, touch the stars yeah. so Whoa. that's my advice to you guys yeah. and, me. Your, and you yeah i'm feeling motivated after this <laughs> and uh, i think i should also feel motivated and start studying yeah. <laughs> okay so that brings me to the end of the video hope you liked it see you guys in the next one like Bye. share and subscribe behind the scenes <laughs> as you can see we made it to the for- oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs> okay as you can see we made it to the forest